Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we are going to make some vegetables fritter the most delicious vegetable fritter and it's so easy to make you always get the ingredients at home so enjoy this video and I hope you try this recipe at home Okay, first of all, let me show you the ingredients. In here, we have some shallot, fresh garlic, and some cucumber, and just one chili because I love chili so much. So just one. This chili is optional. You can put it or not, it's up to you. And we have some chicken powder, and some white pepper, some salt, the vegetables that I'm using today and I always use for my vegetable fritters are those for vegetables. Some carrot, some green bean, green onion, and some cabbage. And some flour. And if you have some rice flour, you can add a little bit of rice flour. Now that we have all the ingredients ready, I'm going to put the shallot, chili, garlic, and coriander seed into my blender. I know guys, it's not cucumber, it's coriander seed, so forgive me because my English is not perfect, I'm still learning. Anyway, I'm going to add some water as well just to make it easier to blend and I'm just going to blend it until smooth. Come to the easiest part of the day, which is mixing all the ingredients together. First, I'm going to put my vegetables into a large bowl, following by my flour. Not sure why I do it with a spoon instead of just everything straight from the bowl. Anyway, now I'm going to add my chicken, stock powder, and white pepper, and a little bit of salt. Always add salt as your preference, because everybody has different tastes. And now I'm going to pour the blended ingredient into the same bowl and as well I'm going to add a little bit of water and all I have to do now is just mix it well. At this point, I already know that I need a little bit more flour and a little bit of water. You're probably thinking, what the heck? Yes, I do not measure my ingredients ever when I cook. I just use my instinct and my feeling. And if I think it's right, and then I just do it. Since this is not baking, it's okay. Just use your instinct and your feeling. Anyway, now I'm going to add a couple tablespoons more flour into my butter. and a little bit of water and all I have to do now is mix it until it's well combined and I'm ready to fry my butter next I'm going to heat up lots and lots of vegetable oil using my frying pan and we have to make sure that the fire flame whatever you call it but all I'm trying to say is has to be on medium high heat unless you're planning to burn your vegetables fritter take the oil using your hand just don't put your hand inside and when it's hot let's start frying these bad boys because we want our vegetable fritters crunchy and crispy we are putting the butter into the frying pan using this technique. You can use tablespoon or any spoon you prefer. Me personally, I prefer to use my burly hand and spread it the way I want it into the pan, not to the oil. I only use my little spoon today 
for the video so you don't think like ew he okay you know what i'm saying also make sure you don't put too much butter in the same time because the oil temperature will reduce best number is just to put three to four at a time Now we are just going to fry this bad boy until it's golden brown and make sure we turn it over every couple of minutes. Ta-da! This is how it looks like when it's ready. I can't wait to eat these beautiful vegetable fritters. But first, I'll have to finish frying all my butter. As you guys can probably hear in the background, my daughter Zavaya is calling me for her mama, which is me. I need to finish this cooking as quick as possible. This is real life, you know, mama life. A mama will know. I will take her and she'll be joining with us and I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, this is the final look of my vegetables fritter. There you go, this is gonna be delicious, crunchy, and yummy, and oily. Are you ready Baba? You can't have it though. Alright, let's dig in. Look at that Z. Oh my god. Oh my god! Let me have it with some sweet chili sauce or you can have it with any sauce you like. Mm. Mm. Sorry Baba, you can't have it. Oh my god. Mm. Enak banget dong. guys that's the end of our video for today don't forget 
to hit the thumbs button and subscribe and share this video with your family and don't forget to try this recipe at home it's super delicious and super easy to make i will see you on my next video bye bye say bye bye bye